Oklahoma City, Oklahoma is a city that just over a year ago experienced a devastation of mammoth proportion as a massive truck bomb exploded and ripped apart the Mura Federal Building in the downtown area. This violent act of terrorism killed and injured hundreds of innocent victims and caused severe property damage. Emergency personnel and law enforcement officers from every corner of the country worked around the clock in and around the remains of the federal building to extricate survivors, retrieve victims, and search for clues to the cause of this horrific scene. Now, it seemed as though the entire nation stood still, holding its breath as each hour passed, watching as the death toll continued to climb, trying to comfort the families and the friends of those locked inside the rubble. This tremendous tragedy of violence and lost lives in middle America is one that we will not soon forget. And Doctor, um, EMS critical in this emergency, people seeking care, working with the fire department, law enforcement. Why don't you give us your overview about your initial response to the emergency? Thank you, Ken. Ken, I brought some footage which may help illustrate the EMS response. Within minutes following the blast, a massive emergency medical response was initiated. If I can please have that film. The first call came in at 9.03. Do you know how many we got? There's injuries all over the place downtown. Okay, we got it. We're on the way. Even before this call came in at 9.03, paramedics began to arrive on scene. Between 9.02 and 9.05, two supervisors and seven ambulances manned by over 24 EMTs and paramedics converged on the scene. They came from the north and the south. From the north, they came from St. Anthony's Hospital and EMSA's corporate headquarters. The first ambulance was in the process of unloading a patient at the time. When the paramedic heard the blast, felt the blast, he immediately gravitated towards the smoke, heading south on Robinson until, excuse me, on Harvey, until he made it to the northwest corner of the building where he was essentially overtaken by huge numbers of people, both injured and uninjured. Following this first EMS response, the casualty count continued to swell out into the streets. We got two critical at Fields and uh, Hudson. We need a unit. We've got about four or five criticals right now and about 100 walking wounded. I'm on the fourth and Harvey. I need a hospital. I've got uh, one critical head and eyes. We're getting ready to depart. We've got two critical and one walking wounded. Um, any uh, advice on which hospital? Dems emergency. Hi, I'm Sue. So come see fire. Yes. Uh, could you advise us where you're going to be setting up your triage station? Ten points, man. Have them to go to Six and Harvey. 